this is John from VJ Books, and we're talking books. The world's a dangerous place. We have threats that we never had before. Every day you turn on the news and you hear about ISIS or the potential of nuclear threat, a uh, bomb snuck into the country or a dirty bomb or terrorist activity within our borders. It's, uh, it's a different world and it's fodder for the good fiction writers. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about Ben Coe's. I'd like to talk today about his latest thriller. It's coming out this month. It's called First Strike. We come face to face with the head of ISIS, a character by the name of Tristan Nasser. And he is the ultimate bad guy. Everything you've heard or seen about ISIS is the embodiment of Tristan Nasser. It starts with a, a background story about how ISIS is funded by the U.S. Like many of the groups in the history of the world where we come face to face with them and on the battlefield, it turns out that years before we have befriended them and they're fighting us with our own armaments. So enter Dewey Andreas. He's fresh out of the Middle East where he was in a operation to retrieve some data about the ISIS organization, which is critical to the United States fighting the terrorist group. And he is back to the U.S. shore thinking he's going to have some R&R, but he's immediately drawn into the battle at Columbia University. And it is he and his colleagues from his previous books joined together to find a solution to the terrorist takeover of Columbia University. It's an incredible story. And it's, uh, it's so scary because it's so plausible. Um, Again, the world's a scary place, and uh, w I'm hoping that this is fiction and not a precursor of things to come. This is John at VJ Books, and we're talking books.